here is the lightweight contender, former University of Northern Colorado wrestler Justin Gaethje. We've spent a lot of time with this young man. We both think he is one of, if not the most exciting fighter in the sport today. But he doesn't lean on those wrestling chops. He's worried about wrestling fatigue, and the results certainly speak to him having the right approach. Lost. As you said, John, University of Northern Colorado wrestler, All-American. Right. He was an All-American, but to this point, he has not scored one takedown. He doesn't need to. He wants to go in there, and he wants to fight. He said he shows up to put on it, a highlight. His nickname's the highlight, and he has earned that and is justified every time he steps foot in the octagon. Just a fantastic mixed martial artist with a full toolbox of skill at his disposal. And when he has faced adversity, he has come back stronger than ever. Ask his recent victims, James Vick, and the aforementioned Edson Barbosa. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Habib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo in the ground control, in the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31. Gaethje is one inch taller. The reach is the same. The veteran voice of the Ladies Octagon first book. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habiba, the Eagle, Imago Mena! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting they're going to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown. Time a... Oh! Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to his side and then trying to shove it. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt. Oh, he might be out. Big elbow there, Lance. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, straight right. Nurmagomedov goes for the takedown. He misses. Slip.
steps to avoid the right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. While he continues to stay busy, what do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Left hand punch to the clinch. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're gonna try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. It got defended as you would expect it to. Got the single collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he landed the right hand there. What a body kick. 38 total strikes have landed for Justin Gaethje. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Single collar tie now. Well, nice job by Gaethje to land and then roll. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, no! Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He blocks the punch. Ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Close guard. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground-and-pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which He's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pin. Watch so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Champs, second round now. Your teammate you Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Justin Gaethje. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, beautiful jab there from Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC. It's so fun to call a Justin Gaethje fight. People think he's reckless. People think he's a wild man. But Trevor Whitman has him locked in. His technique is beautiful when he's striking. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Nice hook, Lance. Get my right hand. 
Oh, big left. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, so the numbers continue to pile up. 71 total strikes now for Justin Gage. And the connection rate, pretty good. 55% to this point in the fight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. And oh! And the turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. tonight. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Gaethje's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Back mount now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Down into his mouth. Two minutes now to go in round two. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. Nicely done. Let's go, guys. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Nermago Meta. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Fifteen seconds. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. We look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting.
All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Just missed with the left there. Nice strike. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Right hook to the head blocked. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, Stan. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He just... Unbelievable! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. We get the official.